a beautiful freaking morning. All right, so Saturday morning again. This hike run is gonna be a little different because there's something around here called, I'm probably messing this up to petroglyphs. So it's the writing on the stone from the native people that lived here, you know, billion years ago, however long it was. Not literally a billion, but um, so this hike goes all the way to this huge rock setting where there's all this artwork carved in. So we're gonna go check it out. It's not that long, but it's all right. It'll be a good little run, good movement. So here we go. Oh yeah, topic of the day is going to be the I and the me, what the difference is in observing instead of always being totally involved and reactive. So, you know, sometimes they call it becoming the observer, but we'll talk more about that later. So <clears throat> you read about this a lot in um, more like spiritual texts, esoteric texts, but they use the phrase, be the observer. So essentially what they're saying is you need to be able to observe things instead of always reacting to them. So in a very simple sense, it's taking that one second to be like, okay, Here's the situation in front of me. Um, you know, what can I do about it? How can I respond to it instead of react? So that's really what it is, is if you think about it, how many of us actually observe things on a daily basis? We just react to everything. We just react. So that's what observation is now, or what I mean by it. When you go deeper into like, the spiritual text, the esoteric stuff, the ancient wisdom, all these words. Um, God damn. These horses are eating good here. Uh, anyway, anyway, so when you go into the deeper text, they talk about the I and the me. And they say, okay, me is pissed off. We'll put it like that. I knows better. So what they mean by that is think of the me as this daily life stuff you know it's the schedule my kids gotta go it's it's stress it's the definition jason you know that's the me this defined essentially character that we're living every day and then the i would be what's observing that like in a movie theater you're sitting in the chairs and you're watching the movie that's the me that's like busy life right but if they turn the movie off it's just a blank screen so the idea is like, 
eye is more of that, you know, observer in the background, so to speak. And the me is everything we make up. So you're told, and you got to watch the words here because there's just no other way to explain it, but you don't want to turn it into another program that you have. But the idea is you need to identify more with the eye. You know, when they're talking about slow in your mind and all this stuff, at, at the end of the day, they're saying be able to observe without adding anything extra to it. You know, you're sitting in your house, the kids are running around going wild, the fucking, you know, microwaves going off. I mean, it's just a madhouse, which people can relate to. But can you sit there and just observe it? Can you lay back, so to speak, mentally in that eye position and just watch without, I wish it wasn't like this, this pisses me off, blah, blah, blah. You know, can you do that? So there's a lot more to it. You know, these, one of the gurus back in the day, like a spiritual teacher, Ramana Maharshi, and I'm probably saying his name wrong. He would ask people, people would be like, hey, you know, I can't stop my mind or like, you know, I and me and all this observing crap. And they'd be like, what do I do? And he would just respond with, well, who's me? You know, what's I? What's observing it? So it's all very, you know, esoteric sounding, but think about that. Like, what is sitting here all day reacting to all your bullshit? What is it? You know, and when you ask that question, you start to realize what I mean by the observer. It's interesting, you know, you have to ask yourself what they were thinking about when they were carving all this stuff out. I mean, it's a lot of lines, a lot of stuff that looks like stars, maybe the sun, but you know, depends how far down the rabbit hole you want to get, but it just makes you think like, what were they thinking when they were here doing this stuff? I'm gonna head back. I did not want to leave that area though. Really cool. That stuff is all up and down. This art is just everywhere, tucked in corners and everywhere. So, all right, time to head back.
Okay, run is done. Pretty good, short, about probably 16, 17 miles, but nice hills at the end. Beautiful terrain, bunch of side-by-sides per usual, a lot of rocks. So remember, observe, don't react to everything. Watch it, look at it. I, me, me is the one that's reacting. I is what's watching. Just take a minute to observe what you're doing. It'll help you in your daily life for sure. All right, see you next time.